Hi, excuse me, sir. I am so sorry to bother you. I'm actually trying to sell this mystery box for ten dollars. Do you think you have ten dollars for me? I need it for my mom's medication. Uh, I wish I could help you, but all I have is five. I, I can take anything, man. Well, you can tell me what's in it. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Let's keep that as a surprise. So I can, I can take okay. this five dollars. Yeah. So I want you to hold, hold, hold on this for me. Don't turn it around yet, because I'm gonna have you open it. <laughs> okay. um, do you, do you mind me asking, like, where do you live right now? Where, where are you staying? Well, I'm on the streets right now. Oh, you are? Yeah. Sorry, let me take this away. Uh, so how long have you been living on the street? Uh, about a year. One year. Yeah. And if you don't mind me asking the reason, like, what exactly happened? How did? Well, I was too proud to go to Social Security, and I was living on a. Um, inheritance okay uh for 13 years i had like 20 grand a year to live on so i didn't oh need social God. security so uh our president bumped my social security up a little bit like 50 dollars a month right i still didn't pay attention to it and then i um moved up north and because i went to the dpss right and uh to get a food stamp card um they made me go to social security and i went right. down there and they gave me like another hundred and forty dollars a month well i was happy that any any amount is good and then when the when the social worker called i heard the guy on the other end of the line at social security he says six hundred dollars a month retirement six hundred dollars a month social security and i'm like wow. and when she got off the phone i said i wish that was me and she said it is you and i'm like are you kidding me i mean all they uh -huh. told me before was like half of that and, right and so december 1st i started getting 1200 a month but for the last three months, because I don't have a picture ID, I keep having, I either have a seizure or I get robbed or life oh on the streets God. is not easy. I'm I've so had everything sorry. I own stolen 10 times. I've had five bicycles stolen. Oh my I God. had last, after I moved up north and I thought it would be different, I had an electric wheelchair that I got for free and because I need hernia surgery and I couldn't get it down here, oh but I go out up there and I get this good emergency room doctor and, and I tell him well yeah I broke my arm a year ago and it didn't sit right wow. well, I'm not looking forward to a surgery and that's the only way they can fix it they got to re-break it uh, oh no and uh, and then they got to pin it together oh wow and so anyway I was like well my arm doesn't work very good but I made it work anyway so so anyway this emergency room doctor had me scheduled for hernia surgery and, and, and he had me to see these uh, chiropractic doctors. I had their phone numbers and everything. I was ready to call them. And I found out that my daughter, who's also in the street, but she's a bit mentally ill. Oh, she's not mentally okay. No, she's, she's, she's got problems with alcohol and drugs. She, oh, I am so sorry, man. Thank you very much. And so I came down here. So I missed out on those two surgeries. I came down here about a month about two months ago now wow and she she called a couple of times my granddaughter mm -hmm. and said i'm in pomona she checked in after a week she checked in after two weeks two more weeks went by she didn't check in three weeks maybe four probably a month has gone by i've been over to pomona a bunch of times and uh -huh. what i have to do is i have to i have to ride the train and just hope they don't ask for a ticket and, and wow. they, they do but i don't know i'm just i'm blessed oh man. unfortunately like, honestly like living you living on the street and the the word that i hear from you after telling me this story you're still saying you're blessed i am everything wow. i need is provided food wow. shelter clothing wow everything you do, know? do you believe in any any high power god or anything i'm glad you said high power because you know in alcoholics anonymous there's and it's in italics it says you're in, basically, I'll paraphrase. It right. says, you're entitled to, and it says this exactly, uh -huh. God of your own understanding. Well, right. I had a problem with, I couldn't even say the word for a long time. Right. And I, I had a, a lot of education in different, uh, you know, religions, Muslim, right. Judaism, uh, right. Sikh, right. Hindu, Muslim, uh, Buddhist, right, Tal right. Every, Salas, yeah, you know, all kinds of religions all over the c country, you know, and Protestant and Catholicism too. And, um, you know, so I was like, well, I just take what I want from this one and that one. Well, yeah. lately I've been more, all I hear when I go to these churches, because they have a good uh, Feed the Homeless program in Palm Springs. They have four churches participating, and on wow. Fridays they bring in these portable showers. They give you food. That's amazing. You can always take an extra meal, and it's good, healthy food, and there's a lot of it. It's not wow. like 
you know. It's not like the, the, well, it's not the like, biker stuff. Oh, my. Like, well, it is, but it doesn't, you know, I mean, you got no money. Healthy. You know, and what it does is by feeding these people, and I helped serve them, but I also ate this stuff. But there's other people, too. Like, Sundays, they do pancakes, sausage, and coffee. Oh man! And they added another day, and it's the same church. How do you how do you go from here to Palm Springs all the way? You to catch a bus or something? Cal State has a bus that goes down there. I'm a senior citizen, so I get to go down there for four dollars. They have a campus in Palm Desert. Okay. And from there, I catch the local bus, and I get to Palm Springs. I lived there for four months. Okay. Um, and then you came back. Well, I came. No, I passed through. I okay. decided I got a vehicle. I bought a Jeep with my last three grand, and I. You still have the Jeep or no? It got impounded the day I got up north and, and it got up to like $4,000 because my nephew oh, no. and my sister, neither one of them would help me. And they're both like, they kicked me to the curb is, is oh my the way God. you put it. So I'm did so my sorry. son. And he accused me of using fentanyl, which I didn't even know what it was. This guy came up to me, I'm standing on the corner. He's this black dude on a Harley, raised his visor, goes, you got any finny? And I go, what? Okay, let, let me ask you simple, one simple <laughs> question, and let's let's briefly answer sure. that. Like, how did you end up, like, I know you told me the oh, whole story. Yeah, how did yeah, you yeah, end yeah. up on the street? Okay, I was staying in a, a recreational vehicle that uh, I had put $3,000 toward. Mm -hmm. My daughter's aunt put $3,000 for it right. about two years ago. My son-in-law supposedly put up the other half. He, wow. Supposedly it cost twelve grand. Wow. But he put it in his name. He's a scoundrel. So... Nine months ago, I became homeless because he put a gun to my head. Oh my God! He got pissed off at this uh, other guy who was in the mobile home with, no in the way. motor home with my daughter, just a friend, you no know. No way, man. And you know, I. That's so sad. So bro. I left. You know, I'm like. I mean, you'd rather be in a safe place. Like I, I don't know how yeah. I, you know, how safe it is here, but I mean, it is not. It's you not find, safe. You find yourself uh, either you make friends yeah, real yeah. fast, which or you I make do, enemies, uh -huh. or you have a big dog, which I did, but. She got away, and then I, I rescued a small dog in traffic the other morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it literally laid down underneath this lady's car that was oh stopped at the light. Oh, my God. She's going to work, but at least she was nice about it. First, the dog runs under a semi truck. Yeah, yeah. The dog and it stops. Like, yeah. Everybody's, like, dog aware now, you know, that everybody's getting rescue animals. Um, so Also, also these these all these bottles and everything, like, do you usually, like, sell them, or what do you do, do to them? Two days ago, I had a bunch collected, like, yeah, yeah. five times that much and I stashed it over in the bushes and I was clearing out I was staying Some, across the street somebody stole it yeah oh man and yesterday I, I managed to get enough together and I kind of figured out how to do this like yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're in front of a busy place you go back and forth to the trash cans and people are throwing stuff away all the time yeah they are so you know and I well, yesterday what I did was clean up this parking lot at the supermarket and bring all the carts all the way in uh -huh. well I realized today I'm not going to do this. I'll bring them halfway in because they've got a guy that's paid to do it. This old yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Will. That, he he shows. Finally, he 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 comes over, and I have all these bags in one of his carts, and he points over to this black one. Yeah. There's a red, and I'm like, wait a minute. Yesterday, I found a black one in the parking lot, but it had a wheel lock on it. Yeah. I go, it's not locked, is it? And he played the, I don't speak English, and I'm like, you're a liar. <laughs> Fine, I speak Spanish. Okay. And so I said, I asked him, ¿Cómo se dice something in Espanol? In other words, how do you say this word in Spanish? Right. Because he got me kind of, he pissed me off. Right. And so he's, he's, he's I asked him a question finally and he says, Si. Sí. That was not even the answer. He was so lame. That he, he didn't even speak Spanish. So he was pretending that he... I said, my he... Spanish is better than your Spanish. And then he goes... <laughs> He answers his question C, and it's like that is not even an answer. So, so, so let me let me ask you: all these bottles that you collected in yeah. a day, if you sell them, how much would you get for it? Something like this. Uh, yesterday, I cashed in about this many that I collected that day, and I got three dollars and for for all this and, collecting so many yeah. bottles, you get three bucks. Yeah, oh my from God. La three almost. And you gave me five dollars, like of all, pretty much what you would make in a day. Like nobody would do that. Why are you giving it to me just because I mentioned I needed for well, my mom's medication? Reason, Every time you see people come out of these grocery stores, right. they're doing scratchers. Right. I mean, it's almost funny to me because I don't waste my time with those anymore. No, no, no. But same. I still like games of chance. Right. This is a game of chance. It's a mystery box. I don't know what it is. <laughs> maybe it's a water turtle. You know, yeah. Maybe it stinks. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, $5 is... It's so little. Okay. You know what? Why, you uh, know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's not... Uh, let's, let's just open it. Just go ahead and open it and see what's in there, man.
I got you. Oh something. no! 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 This, this is this is all no, for you, bro. No! 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 It's all no, cash no, is no, for no, you. No! 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 Uh uh. See what five bucks oh, get you, man. This is crazy. Look at this. Yeah. That's that's forty thousand dollars. Yep. I don't want to say that very loud because I'll get I'll get mugged and I'll get shot. I'll get killed. This is a this is not a good place. This is not. A good no, place. I moved back to where I used to live in Colton on the other side of. Uh, the college. Yeah, yeah. The college is in San Bernardino. The other side of that is Colton. Yeah. I lived there for 20 years. I raised and, my kids there. And it's I not love good. the town. I used to go to the old amphitheater for the summer concert. You know, we walk everywhere. You know, and everybody. Things are getting me. worse? Bad now? Not really, but man, you come up here and, you know, I was staying up here the other day and. But. Uh, but the same day my, my little dog that I rescued got stolen a week uh, after my other dog was last seen jumping over the center divider. Thank God it was rush hour traffic, but the wall on the other side of the freeway is 15 feet high. Wow. She's smart and she's trainable, but she can't do that. So I didn't even want to go that way. I got on the freeway mm -hmm. and I didn't know this. I didn't know she went over the wall until the next day I ran into this woman at the park. And she goes, was she brown? Yeah. Was it about four o'clock? Yeah. She goes, well, I last saw her, she went over the center divider mm -hmm. and I thought it was slick cement. I didn't think she could climb it, but she was scared. Yeah. And I'm screaming and yelling her name, crying, falling down because I can't walk very good. And, you know, I got on the freeway and I walked all the way to the next on ramp, crying the whole time and screaming her name. And finally, uh -huh. for the next two days, I was hoarse. And I wonder, how did I get hoarse? And then I realized, well, because I was screaming, peanut, peanut, you know, at the top of my lungs. Anyway, best dog I ever had. She used to, I used to, she'd lay down on my, my, um, my bed I mean on my bedroll yeah but you know dogs are 105 degrees so I have to try and move her to get her underneath the covers but when I did you could feel the heat and her and I would that's snuggle crazy. up <laughs> that's she, crazy man. she liked being warm against me and I like all right do you do you want me to go ahead and give you the five dollar bag you want to keep that too or you want to keep the cash and this is just beyond I mean like I get everything I need Gracias por Dios. That means thank you, God. <laughs> for everything. And now I do. Whether you call it higher power, whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And, you know, I've become, I've, you know, in the last year, I didn't start out too good because I really didn't know how to deal with it and, like, deal with that girl over there. Like, Wait, I'm, I, I feel like you're not excited seeing this, you know? I thought you would be excited. I don't well, feel Well, I like... am, but I've learned how to contain my emotions, I guess you could say. And it's like, if something... Um, this is trouble for me. This it's is trouble. Okay, you know what? Here. Yeah, this is trouble. I, I got you. Okay, here. Keep your five dollar back. I'll. Should I just go ahead and donate it to somebody else, or keep it? Like, what do you want me to do exactly? I I prefer to donate it to a homeless charity because. Okay. Sounds good, bro. Because there's just not enough. And love that, and I love your story. You know, I hope people can Thank can you. see your story and learn from it. You know. You know, I served my country 15 years in the Marine Corps. I served no way. two tours of duty in Vietnam. Oh, wow. I flew helicopters. I wow. rescued a lot of people that were in organizations that I can't even tell. You Bro, know. you're a hero. You're a hero. No, I'm not. I'm just you a, are a hero. I'm just a regular guy. No, but, uh, 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 and I do like going hero. out to the VA hospital uh -huh. and on Thursdays, which is today. And, you know, I look for the guys with the black hats. They've got Vietnam vets. Wow. And, you know, I go up to any of them and I could talk to them. Yeah. And I was having really bad dreams a while back. And I went out there and I asked the guys, hey, what do I do? And they go, they go, you got to, you got to, uh, you got to talk about it. I go, I don't, they go, you, I know you don't like to talk about it, neither do we, but that's what you got to do. You got to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, definitely, So I bro. started talking about it and I actually got to the point where I could tell people my experience. Yeah, bro. The one, the worst experience of my life and without crying. Wow. You know what, bro? I'm going to let you go, man. It was nice talking to you and I hope you have a blessed day, okay? I, I am already.